All right, a lot to get to this morning, including the Free Britney movement. A lot of people are jumping on board with Michelle, letting us know what's trending, some things we missed overnight. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. But first, a uh, different viewing experience, a movie uh, called <laughs> Minari, one of the best-reviewed films of the past year, is finally available to watch. So many think this is one of those movies that actually has a shot at a bunch of Oscar nominations cool. and wins. Weird, we don't even know who's nominated yet. That is strange for right now. Uh, usually yeah, we have the Oscars I have not like, heard this of this weekend. movie yet. I've heard of it, but I didn't know it was such a big deal. So the uh, it is about the early life, uh, the writer, director, Lee Isaac Chung. He says some might see it as a story about a foreign family in the U.S., but he calls it all about perspective. For me and my family growing up, we weren't the foreigners, you know. We, <laughs> we were, we were uh, Coloradans moving to Arkansas, and uh, we, we had our contained world in our trailer home. And anytime we stepped outside, you know, we're dealing with the other. So Minari is out now in select theaters and then also streaming, so well, you can catch it there. And it's good, too, that streaming movies are now able to get recognition at yes, the Oscars. Yes, <laughs> So ironic, I think. I think it was two years ago. That might not be correct, but there was a year when it was a huge issue about streaming movies that they had to be in theaters. I think that they still do for a small period of time. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's much different now than yeah, it was a couple years ago, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, of course, everyone's been talking about the new hot documentary about Britney Spears. Uh, the FX Hulu New York Times documentary is the one we're talking about. It's called Framing Britney Spears, uh, and you can catch that on Hulu. But now, reportedly, Netflix has its own documentary oh, coming. They always have these at the same time. Yes, but this one apparently in the works before the Hulu one. I don't know where we got that. You know, I mean, I don't yeah. know who yeah. says this was in the works first, but apparently the Netflix special was already uh, working out. The FX one, of course, focuses on the conserv conservatorship that she is under. No word uh, so far in the direction of the Netflix project, but do you recall the uh, Fire Festival? That's what I was thought of right away. Yes, yeah. yes. Those came out right around the same and time. And I was okay. shocked watching that. Yeah. But, well, yes. yeah, a lot of people were. But yeah. like, <laughs> I think that was the whole idea <laughs> that out there. of the documentaries. But the interest, I, there was a whole big thing to watch them both. Yeah. yeah. Like, that was like and the, the online debate the to watch them both. the different kind of yeah. take on it. And yeah. I'm happy only because I have Netflix and I don't have the other streaming right. services, so I'm like, I want to watch the, this You can watch Britain. it on YouTube. Okay. I started it on YouTube and then watched the rest That's on good to know. So. Good to know. Also, uh, this morning, Elliot mentioned baby news uh, for Game of Thrones co-stars, Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie. So no one knows when the baby boy arrived, uh, but they were spotted out with the newborn baby on Tuesday. So sometime before Tuesday. Yeah, people are so good at <laughs> keeping these secrets. Right? <laughs> they, uh, the new parents, according to a representative, are very, very happy. They married in 2018 after meeting and falling in love on the set of Game of Thrones. I, I forget. I think she actually ended up killing it. No, 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 no. He. Something happened, but in, the, in, <laughs> in Game of Thrones, it's just funny that they, they ended up not being in love. Something happened, but anyways. Well, <laughs> Thank you for that, that everybody. Yeah. Did you get all that? Because it was not a spoiler. <laughs> it's been a while since I watched the show. But, so. well, something I do know about Game of Thrones, Ed Sheeran was on one episode. Really? Yes. He, you know what? He was. Okay. He was. He was on one episode. Today is his 30th birthday. Maybe he'll be celebrating by watching that. Also, uh, reality star Paris Hilton's birthday today. She's 40. I randomly followed her on Instagram recently. She was in the Britney Spears. Is that what it was? That's why you did yeah. that. All right. <laughs> we're talking a lot about it. Thanks so much, for sure. Well, we're also talking about these frigid temperatures that we're seeing, and then also the South is seeing. It's causing a lot of closures right now. We'll talk about that in just a bit. I want to give you a live look outside this morning.